wants more if you are not part of something like this. 18, you can drive in Germany and you wait until then and you wait until then, then you wait until you retire and then you pay. Oh, it's always later, later, later. And I sit here and I even say, now it's too late. If it's now too late, then later is much too late. More later. Yeah, drink more, they say. very very hard and I can I can um, uh, I can um, um, I keep uh, my English is not so good um, there were there was so much stress and uh, I can I can have a lot of stress I see and uh, yes yes <laughs> and especially when body collapsed Something did not give away, give not, did not give up. Yeah, yes. There's still the dog who is uh, biting in his tail and thinks, I cannot let go. Yeah. Because if I let go of the tail, I will maybe not know what I am anymore. It's a fairy tale. When you bite in your dog and you're totally tense that you have to bite in something and feel, well, this is my. Without this tail, I don't exist. Yeah. It's like a fairy tale. But for me, it's really the same. I need not to know what I am or what I am not. For me, for me, consciously, it's I, I do not bother about knowing myself. Consciously. Yeah, but then you have to ask yourself, who is not bothering? It's still in stress. I cannot find that one who is bothering. Yeah, but... Uh, Still, there is one who you cannot find. You imagine that one you cannot find. And I can only tell you what you are. There is neither one who knows or doesn't. Yeah. But one doesn't need to be conscious about anything. Need not, no. Yeah, but even understanding that there is no way out. Even not knowing who is now bothered or not doesn't help. No, that's not true. Is that what I say? It's all futile. Mm. Yeah, so I see it. That you know what is. The way out, and that you don't know it is not the way out. The absolute way out is being what you are, which was uh, never involved in anything anyway. Mm -hmm. But now trying to get out of something where you're never in, that's really a problem. Mm -hmm. So, what you do? No, it's, uh, it was and it always will be a futile attempt mm -hmm. of consciousness to know itself. It only wants to know himself to control itself, actually. The out of love, but it doesn't matter why it wants to control itself or know itself. It's always like a tension, because there's an imaginary second consciousness. And then there's two. And that will never stop. So you always will realize yourself as a lover who is different from his beloved. What to do? In any experience there's always two. Without two there is no experience. So you can only dream yourself in two-ness. And when there's two-ness, there's oneness. All that comes by that. This is where you realize yourself. As a lover loving the beloved. All the lover now started to hate his beloved. So there's a love affair and a hate affair. So as a seeker you feel love sick. You became love sick. Now you hate yourself more than you love yourself and now you want to find a way out. Because if you really would love yourself, there would be no seeking a way out of it. Hmm? Now it turns sour. Now you want to go home. But the problem is you never left home. That's a new problem. But now trying to find a way home and trying to make your, to confirm that there is one who needs to be home. Fantastic job. So whatever you do now, with good intention to know yourself and to find a way out, is actually putting you in that miserable state of needing home. Fantastic, perfect job. 
I'm always adoring myself at that. How perfectly machine is I can be to myself. I'm tricking myself absolutely into the next lemon trap. Which is me again. I'm no way out of it. And no one else can trap you so very perfectly and well as you trap yourself. But it's very easy to get lost. Hmm? To what? Very easy to get lost. Very what? Very easy to get lost. Again? Yeah. Lost. What okay. lost? Carlos? <laughs> Very easy. Very, Very easy. easy. That's not easy. You cannot get lost in it. How can you lose yourself? You cannot get lost in anything. You were never lost. Lost from what? Out of what? Now you imagine yourself as one who lost himself by imagination. And now you have in that imagination that you have to find yourself again. That's all. And both is imagination. In the experience of losing yourself you have lost, and in the experience now of finding you will not find. So you forget, you forgot that you are what you are, and now you try to remember. In forgetting you have forgotten that you are, and remembering you will not remember to be. You are uninterrupted, what you are. So it's a dream of forgetting and a dream of remembering. So what? And it will always be you forget again, you remember again, and in forgetting you have forgotten and in remembering you don't remember. As I said, the spider is it's like forgetting yourself and trying to find yourself, but in forgetting you have forgotten, because that there can be one who forgets himself, he has to be. That. that there has to, can be one who can remember you and he has to be that. <coughs> what he is. And that to be, even trying to forget that to be, you have to be, to try to forget to be. That you, that you can try to remember to be, you have to be to be. That there can be a remembering. To be. Again, Ramakrishna's basic thing is that you can deny to exist, you have to exist. Finished. So this doubtlessness of your uninterrupted, absolute being, so even doubting that, is absolute confirming that there is one, this being, which is absolutely in his nature. So this doubtlessness is the origin of doubting and not doubting. That knowledge is the origin of knowing and not knowing. So you realize yourself in knowing and you realize yourself in not knowing. So you, you are the reality who is in spite of the way it's realizing itself that what it is. And you realize yourself in whatever. But the only illusion is that you imagine that you can find yourself in lies. Hmm. You have never lost yourself, come on. How can you get lost? I don't deny the experience of getting lost, by, but by that experience of getting lost, no one is lost in anything. So I don't deny the dream, and in this dream everything can happen. There can be disciples, masters, and realized and unrealized and things, but all the, all the saints are all part of the dream. All what you can imagine, what can be holy, unholy, and this and this, is all dreamlike. Or you can call, say, part of realization. But by not any way of realizing yourself, you become what you are, as you never lost yourself. Right? So what is there? <coughs> there is no consequence in anything. That's the main thing. Nothing, whatever you experience, has any consequence for your nature. You are always that what is quality itself. The treasure itself. And to treasure yourself, that is sadhana. Being the absolute treasure itself, that is treasuring yourself. And all the treasures of the whole universe are merely shit compared to what you are. Just fleeting bullshit. All the beauty of the world is you cannot compare to what you are. That beauty is not needing any belief system of any belief, beauty or ugliness or anything. It's just beauty in its nature. Or that sweetness never needs to taste his sweetness. 
that's the nature of sweetness, which is sweetness. And the sweetness you can taste in this whole universe, and all the bliss experience, and all the ecstasies, compared to that bliss you are, and compared to that ananda you are, and that sweetness you are, is bitter. Thank God. They are all in the nature relative. Absolute relative. But you're still carrying them with you, treasuring some shit. And the only treasure that needs to be treasured is what you are, by being it. And no one else can treasure it. And don't worry about if anyone else is treasuring or being or I realize or not. Just treasure yourself by being that what is. <coughs> so what? What else? Drink more. sit here to make your life like, maybe tempting you to just to try it. But it's dangerous. It will kill everything you believe in maybe. And it's not ple it's not pleasant. The way into that <laughs> it's I think who was it? David Bowie even said, esoteric people want to go to heaven by nice singing and but spiritual people go to hell. Cocaine's oh, quicker. <laughs> Speed goes are better. Not for him. No. But what to do? But even going to hell, you will not reach for you. But maybe the devil will be burnt out. But it seems that awakening happened more in a kind of spiritual scene. What? The kind of spiritual surrounding. It doesn't exist, but the people dream. I come out of this scene. Oh, you must be dreaming. But you've been also here in the process of awakening. My process? No, I, <coughs> I came when it already was over. Here. Here. I, don't, I didn't come here when I came. <laughs> hmm. I went. He always wants to make it a special bullshit seeker. Because <laughs> so he thinks he's gifted and he went to Osho and he was, a, he was a jewelry maker and thing and he went through the thing and it has to, there must be something in it that I went to Osho. It cannot be all for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to, give, hard to drop that story that all what you have done was bullshit. <laughs> It was nothing special. You could have stayed at home and butchered pigs or something. It would be not worth anything. And I tell you, maybe butchers are closer to reality than you. Because they know in, maybe in killing nothing dies. Because they kill every day and they see it, nothing dies in killing. And you are killing time here, sitting around the mountain, believing that it's a spiritual sadhana that brings you somewhere. Ah, dear. <laughs> this shy shop master sitting around and believing that three having a shy in the presence of the holy mountain, they get to realize by themselves. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's very really nice to sit around here believing in it. It's like a why not? But I tell you, you will not attain what you are by sitting for thousands of millions of years here. Millions of lifetimes you can sit around here and believing that you get blessed, you're blessed because it's the biggest obstacle of all times. Believing being one who is blessed by sitting somewhere where no one else maybe is sitting, or only a few are sitting. We only a chosen few here sitting around the mountain, especially me, and I'm part of it. That's the biggest obstacle of ever, of all times. This arrogance of a spiritual seeker is unbelievable and unlimited. Mafia. The chosen ones. Yeah, the chosen ones. And they will be chosen because they will be especially in a special misery. And their own, their own concentration comes off the little monk cell. Maybe, maybe. 
putting themselves in a little concentration camp for, 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 for my own, I'm doing it all for myself. And the self doesn't care, look at it today. He's alone again and thinks being alone helps him. <laughs> <laughs> Self-inquiry. It will 
will never send end. The laugh for itself will never end. So it will always inquire into the nature of itself. And all of that, what you can experience, is out of love for itself, by consciousness. But what you are, is prior to it, or inspired by it. The Parabrahma, who is realizing itself as consciousness, is absolutely <coughs> independent of the way consciousness is or is not. So if the consciousness is in love with itself, and out of love, whatever trying to realize, has had nothing in, nothing in for it. There is nothing for the Parabrahma, there is nothing to gain how the consciousness is or is not. Mm. There only is the peace you are, which is absolute independent of if there is peace or no peace in the relationship of consciousness with itself. Because consciousness will always be little or big. When it's cosmic consciousness, it's maybe like in a peaceful absence. Mm -hmm. When it's little, it's in a, in a stressful presence. In that both ways, it's, you realize yourself. So cosmic consciousness is absence of consciousness and relative consciousness is presence of consciousness. That is the two way or the two faces of Shiva. And you cannot get rid of it, but you have to be that what is Shiva or self in spite of this or this. Because what you are has no preference. But the moment you have a preference of the absence, the presence is your help. So the preference <coughs> makes a me. Relatively. Only the preference. When you are, when you see both is just merely a dream, then what you are has no face in reality. But you have to realize yourself, experience yourself as presence and absence. And you cannot avoid it. But what you are is inspired anyway. And you have nothing to gain in absence or lose in presence. So what? Then there is presence and absence. Tonal and Nagual. That's like the shamanistic, don't run. The Nagual is a cosmic consciousness. It's a tonal, it's this informa information consciousness. But you are the real McCoy, the real self, who is realizing itself as Nagua and tonal, like this information world and the non information world, the absence, presence. But what you are cannot be lost in the presence or gained in the absence, or whatever, or lost in the absence and gained in the presence. Neither. Nati Nati. So you cannot not be what you are. So be it. And being that, that is, or listen, even listening to that, is what Ramana calls the highest tapa. When that what is the absolute I talks to that what is the absolute I, which is the total emptiness of talking. So, in that nonsense, we can rest. Nonsense. I couldn't find any empty anywhere to make the tea out. So the last five minutes, minutes what? Empty tea. Empty. The sand tea is better. It's higher in the man. Guarantee. Clarity. Clarity. No. <coughs> having, a, having a shy is not no. better. English for tea. Better drink Four tea. Because there's only the clarity when you drink tea. Clarity. Clarity. <laughs> but it makes us as an, an entity. Entity. And you're like your ancestors, make you an entity. You from an entity ancestors camp. and brothers. Brother of loyalty. You got some loyalty? Ro royalty. I royalty get, or I loyalty? Get, I get royalty. I prefer royalty <laughs> than loyalty. <laughs> who, get, who gets fed by loyalty? You get only fed by royalty. Yeah, I know you live on royalties, didn't you? I live by royalty. Well, no, it's part of your pocket money. Make, make most of it out of cows. <laughs> still, still selling books. The books, you're saying the book make money? No. Oh. No, that's part of the publicity. There's, there's now seven books in India. No, no, there's no, 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 not no, one book in India. More cleverer than the tax man. Not be cleverer than the tax man. Yeah, but that's the nonsense of this is like I have not said it, so why should I get something out of it? I don't expect something from it. I don't write books to make it a bestseller like Eckhart Tolle. It takes five years to make it in the right world that people may understand, appreciate it, and then buy the book. Yeah, but the good thing about your books is I can't show them to other people because they'll think I'm fucking mad. <laughs> happy. <laughs> no, no, they already think I'm mad. I don't want to confirm it. They'll treat me even worse. I confirm anyone that he is crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. that he exists. <coughs> Thanks very much. The craziness, the, craziness, the craziness of existence. If you're a priest, confirmation. 
Who is fucking Dr. Majin? This is absolution. No, absolution. Absolutely. It's absolutely absurd. Is it? Absolutely. What solution? They've got loads of Nazi downstairs. How come they've got so much bleed Nazi downstairs? There's only a certain amount of toys. Listen, listening to you as a cheapest. You get more pub in it. You get more pub in it. Yeah, if, you, if you could do it, just put him in one five minutes into your brain and you are gone. I'm happy to share my um, my readings. <laughs> Stephanie Cockus. <coughs> it looks like more and more like a tourist now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Everyone thinks I'm a tour, tour guide, but I'm, I'm a tourist like everyone. Well, I know these people arrive and say they come for sets, they come for that twice. There's no such thing here. Yeah. Right. So you don't know what you're doing. Takes like coffee, don't understand English. <laughs> 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 That's an age of blessing. <laughs> These poor guys who understand. But you have Christian. <laughs> That's an advantage of being born German. Or Russian. Very rational. So, good. Last question. There are often there's descriptions of changes in the body that go on. Side effects. But even, not even if, no, it's not because they're necessary. They will be just as like a side effect of the item in medicine by being what you are. When there are side effects. Even Lizagato talked about the side effects of being the knowledge, having this most unpleasant side effects. Mm -hmm. It's not pleasant if you would like, if you would know what the side effects were, you would not look for it. It's not what you want, what you expect, what would be there. But are they always the same? Everything? It's not, it doesn't matter if it's the same, they're unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> It's not about your past. 
I just make, don't make it like that because I was a bad guy now I burn brighter or something. <laughs> <laughs> Because then the meat gets drained. It's a meat grain. It gets drained by the, by the absolute Miller. When Mr. Miller comes, you will be drained. And you've got migraine. It's a grain thing you cannot. And it's common, very common. I think it was also who used to say about some American people who was like this because of. I think it was from him. No, I never was alive in that way. Why, why, how can I put it now? Still is there who says there may be there, there enlightened one and that makes a difference about anything, then I, I tell you that's not enlightenment. Because enlightenment never leaves anyone who is whatever judging anyone. There is no leftover of any judgment of anything. And whoever is later is still there who is judging enlightened ones, <laughs> I can I really doubt. Yuji did it permanently. Yeah, but funny. Uh, so. That, that, in that way, it could be done. There was no seriousness in it. It sounded like a barking dog, but it was like, like empty. But some really are serious in it. They really make standards. Then there are books about it, being halfway up the mountain and all of that, and all the things and what you have to do and what has to be done, all God of it. And the true master and the untrue master and all the bullshit. For me, I'm happy that I know that there was never any so-called real master, I never will be. Because there was never any student in the first place. So it's all bogus anyway. Whatever one can say. Bogus, bogus, bogus. Especially one enlightened one who is judging another enlightened one. What can it be? It's like the biggest joke ever, two enlightened one meeting. <laughs> <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> That's called uh, non-duality and, sci and science uh, meetings or ascent or whatever this rainbow festivals of the light ones and whoever, whoever goes there, I will say a shit. <laughs> Only once. And they, and they destroyed the video later. <laughs> I'm very honored that they didn't keep the video from, I was, a, I made the opening speech <laughs> in Holland. And then later on, uh, we deleted your video, so it was not, because I said, they were all sitting there. Well, the the you really think this, this, uh, this people, you can give you something, and you really can get something from here? <laughs> keep dreaming, babies. Um, <laughs> it was not an advertisement for Isaac Shapiro and Shubhash Shapiro. Pamela Wilson, who was there then? Armani. Armani. God. Armani Pabriani? I was never in a, in a worse company. <laughs> <laughs> and all this, all this feet licking when they met, like having dinner. And, oh, I always wanted to meet you and I, I like your approach so much. <laughs> 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 Arrogant, maybe, maybe there is something. Maybe there is something really good happening. Something what is. But now I know I was not arrogant. I just had good intuition. Holy <laughs> 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 God! Whoa, what? Pleasing each other like hell and licking asses. Okay. I had to make it one.
wants to know what it is. Okay, that was eight. The sixth. Ah, uh, today someone has birthday. Pia, I think. Oh, Pia! Happy birthday, Pia! No, there is Pagati. Many today. Pagati, many. Yeah, I remember. All these Osho and Papa Jack people have many of them birthday today. Yeah. Why do I know that? <laughs> I don't send some of the books. I never send any books that read in many things. I'm offense to myself to the confirm that do. someone is born. Show them how much you care. Let the computer bloody do it. Happy funeral.